What's happening everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Oe, and today I'm going to be doing a trailer reaction for The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, brought to you by Amazon. And The Lord of the Rings, it's a small, modest franchise. You may have heard of it. It's only been around for almost a century, but yeah, this uh, this series has been pretty controversial and polarizing uh, throughout the fandom in regards to J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, a lot of fans and enthusiasts aren't too happy. They're a little apprehensive with the way the show is being approached and produced. Uh, a lot of changes that uh, kind of manipulate the lore and mythology of J.R.R. Tolkien, who is like the granddaddy of fantasy fiction and all that. He wrote this series of Lord of the Rings. Uh, I think the inspiration came from him and he started writing when he was in World War One. Am I correct on that? The guy was in the thick of battle trying to escape, you know, the horrors of war through creating this fantasy in his head. So I think that's where the inspiration came from, right? So damn, talk about coming up with something. You could find inspiration in anything, right? I'm not a big uh, Lord of the Rings book fan, never read any of the books, but Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy is by far, without a shadow of a doubt, the best trilogy of all time in the history of cinema. I said it, better than Star Wars, better than The Godfather, um, better than the Dark Knight trilogy, which I hold dear to my heart, better than all that. Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings, the extended editions are by far the best trilogy ever to existed. In fact, check this out here. I got this gem. Look at this, baby. Look at this. I got the old DVD. DVD extended editions. Oh, even smells like greatness to this day. Honestly, I don't think any director or movie company out there can mimic what Peter Jackson did with his Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, I mean, that was made with such craftsmanship. I mean, the execution, the directing, the writing, the casting. Uh, it's We're never going to get that again. We're never going to get that again. Even Peter Jackson himself couldn't mimic what he did with his trilogy. And that was obvious with the Hobbit trilogy, that overbloated cash grab of a series. Even Peter Jackson couldn't do it again. So, I mean, that's how special that version of Lord of the Rings is. So, whatever Amazon does, I really have no stake in it. I'm just hoping for a good written uh, spectacle with uh, great action, great characters, great storytelling. If I could get that, I'll be happy because I, what about, I pay like over $100 of Amazon Prime a year. So you better make a goddamn great show, Amazon. That's all I asked for. So that's the way I look at it. Uh, all the controversy and everything else. Uh, I'm kind of behind all that. Just give me a good show since I'm already paying for it, Amazon. That's the way I look at it. So without further ado, let's check out this trailer for Amazon's The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. There was a time when the world was so young. Not yet okay, okay. I mean, this is the most expensive show ever produced. It better look good. And that looks good. Ooh, we got a little bit of Elden Tree action. That was the Elden Tree right there. Alright. A lot of over-the-head helicopter shots. That's a must in uh, The Lord of the Rings, right? But we Harfoots have each other. For I must now this okay, a lot of real locations nice. seem to be in this trailer so far. So a lot of on, on location filming, which I like. You have fought long enough, Galadriel. Galadriel. Put up your sword. Yeah, young Ned Stark, aka the young like Elrond. The question now is where? It is over. You have not seen what I've seen. I, have I seen like her show. look right there. She looks good as Lady Galadriel. What I have seen. What have you seen? A lot of good shots. A lot of good shots that showing cities and stuff. It will be the not a big fan of this young Elrond though. I don't like the way he looks. Sorry, but their time has come. 
I hope we get a lot of dwarves, the like their society. Over. The past is dead. We either move forward or we die with it. This could be the beginning. What of the hell is the story so far, though? Whoa, what's going on right there? Damn, look how dirty their feet are. Are these like hobbits? They got some dirty feet. I mean, even Frodo's feet wasn't that dirty at the end of Return of the King. Some dirty ass feet. Alright, so that was the longest trailer of Rings of Power that we've gotten so far. And I gotta say, that was that was underwhelming. That was underwhelming. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I mean, there's a lot of cool shots. I mean, obviously you could tell a lot of money was spent into making this series, but in terms of um, storytelling, what the hell is the story? A lot of talk about um, you know, the past and the future's changing, but like, what's changing? Like, what's going on in this universe that we got to be so worried about? Um, the only person that seems to be worried is Lady Galadriel, which I like the way she looked in the majority of this trailer. She looked very, like, elven, very fair, the way I remember her. She looks very good. I like the way she looks. Very beautiful, very fair. That's how I like my Lady Galadriel, okay? Um, all the other promotional stuff with her show her in, like, armor and fighting, which I don't know how that works. Is that part of her past or whatever? So it looks like she's going to be the main focus of this series. Her and um, this young elf here, which is supposed to be Elrond, which uh, was played by Hugo Weaving in Peter Jackson's trilogy. So, yeah, to go from Elrond to this, I don't know. He kind of... He, he just looks too soft. He looks too soft. Kind of looks like a bitch. <laughs> I mean... Uh, I don't know about this guy. I don't know about this guy. But a lot of cool shots and locations. So I hope there's a lot of practical effects. I hope they don't cut corners and just use CGI, CGI, CGI. I mean, in order to make me feel like I'm being transported into a real world, you gotta use real shit, right? You gotta use practical effects, real locations. That was the charm of Peter Jackson's trilogy. Really, it was. But you could tell a lot of money was spent into the show. Judging from the set locations and all the effects and CGI used, there was a lot used in this trailer. But like I said, I have no idea what the hell the narrative of this trailer is. A lot of cool locations, though. Um, this is separate from Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings, so did we see Rivendell somewhere in there? Did we see uh, the White City of Minas Tirith? I'm not sure. Um, but we got this elf here. Who's this guy? Okay, I think this guy's a main character as well, this elven character. Which, we went from, like, elves looking fair and having long hair to, look at this guy. He's got a fresh fade and a lineup. <laughs> Oh, where's the barbershops at in Middle Earth, huh? So, we got that elf. We got these humans here. I don't know who this guy is. He's kind of in like a council room. Uh, yeah, who's this guy? Uh, and also something about these other characters that isn't Galadriel. They all look generic. None of these characters make me want to like learn more about them. Like, they don't look cool enough for me in my opinion. Like, in the Fellowship of the Ring, I still remember that trailer. Like, when they show Aragorn, Boromir, Gandalf, I was like, I want to know more about these characters. No one in this trailer had that effect on me. I will say that. Uh, you got this explosion, like a volcanic meteor explosion, and then you have, like, a being being born from it. What's that about? Is that Sauron? Like, being made or something? Because wasn't Sauron, like, an elf that got corrupted maybe this is like a wizard or something being born i don't know but that that's an interesting shot right there that's an interesting shot for sure and then you got the end with these hobbits or the hard foots i think they're called just roman so the shire isn't established yet uh, i think these are the earlier versions of the hobbits who are just kind of migrating from place to place they really don't have a settlement yet i think that's what it is right or are hobbits even supposed to be in this timeline i forget um, but look how dirty their feet are. Look how, look at these, oh my god. 
Oh my god. Alright, so that trailer was a bit underwhelming. It was a bit underwhelming. I hope the next trailer we get has a better uh, storytelling narrative attached to it, because I really don't know what the story of this series is. It's just a bunch of pretty shit on screen, to be honest with you, but... Yeah, um, I think if you were to show someone who knew nothing about Lord of the Rings a trailer for Fellowship of the Ring right after this trailer, I think most people would be more excited to watch Fellowship of the Ring. At least that's my opinion. At least that's my opinion. You could wipe off my memory. I wish I could go and wipe my memory off from ever experiencing Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings just so I could have a fresh perspective on it. That's the way I see it. I kind of want that to happen, but... All right, that's my reaction and my thoughts on Amazon's The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power teaser trailer and so far what I think of the series. Like I said, I'm already paying for this shit. I hope it's good. So post down in the comment section below what you thought of that trailer. What are you expecting from this series? What do you think of it so far? So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel as well. And I will see you all next time. See ya.